Hello everyone, so in this particular video we will be looking at logistic regression using PyTorch. In last video we saw linear regression using PyTorch and this particular video is going to be very much similar to the last one because the concepts are very much similar. And so without any further ado, let's get started. So first we need to import the basic libraries which are torch and torch.nn as nn. So this is for PyTorch. Now we need another library for the data set. Um, obviously, we will be making our own data set. So from sklearn.datasets import make classification. Now, in the last video, we used make regression because we were doing linear regression. Now we need uh, binary data that is zeros and ones and hence we'll be using make classification. We need another, uh, another library which is matplotlib. So import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. This is for the plotting purposes. Okay, now that we have got these libraries imported, let's create our data. So we will say train comma target equal to make classification. And then we need to pass in some parameters. So the first one is going to be the number of samples. I'm going really quick with this because in the last video we saw uh, how to use this. So number of features equal to 10, number of informative is equals to 8 and then we had number of classes so number of classes obviously it will be 2 and then random uh, random state equal to 1 2 3 4 so we'll do this now there is one thing that I need to show you and for that we will go back to our slides so now if you remember this was our linear regression formula so y equal to this thing in logistic regression we just add one more thing that is a sigmoid function so this thing remains the same that you see over here and the sigmoid is added now i'm not going to explain it in detail because that requires another video i hope you already know it otherwise you can go to my channel and check uh, linear uh, logistic regression video and you can say that this is the ex uh, this is the formula the entire formula for logistic regression now what is sigmoid sigmoid is basically 1 by 1 plus exponent of negative of x sigmoid of x so this is the basic stuff you know you know it already right um what i am telling you is that this is very much similar to what we saw the last time so we have a neural network these are our weights w0 w1 up to wn i have just written w0 to w uh, and wn and then you have the inputs x0 x1 x2 up to xn so you will you will do this one layer neural network you will multiply and then you will get y dash here in logistic regression you just add one more step that is you take the sigmoid of y dash and hence you get y so this formula is actually this and the reason of using neural network is because we'll be able to use pytorch with it okay so let's go back okay so now we need to change these numpy values into tensors pytorch tensors so for that we'll say train df is equals to torch dot from numpy and then we'll write here train okay and then target underscore df or you can write pt i mostly use df from numpy target okay so we will run these two cells or run this cell rather okay now there is one more thing that i have to explain and this is going to be new over here so for that let's go back to our slides so here what you are seeing is the basic way in which a model is defined in PyTorch. So it doesn't matter what kind of a model it is. Mostly this is the way they use. Okay. So it has a fixed structure. So the first is you name, you need to have the class, class, uh, class name and the name of the class. Okay. So just first write the class and then name of the class. This can be anything, you know, in our case, we'll be using capital L capital R for logistic regression. You can use anything. Then you have to write and then dot module basically inherit and then there will be a line def in it this is going to be the initial initialization of the class or construct or whatever and then you need to pass in some variables um, the next line is going to be super and the name of this whatever you wrote over here so we used lr we will be writing lr comma self dot init underscore uh, double underscore init double underscore and open close bracket and then we will be defining our layers or whatever will be there okay so this is going to be one function okay with the constructor rather then we need to define a function called forward 
you will be pa uh, passing self and some of the variables and then again you are going to have some lines over here um, as i'll show you you'll understand more and then at last you need to return okay so this was the basic structure of how any model in pytorch is um, declared so as stated earlier we will be using the logistic regression lr we'll be naming the class as lr and then we will have to inherit from an n dot module the next line we have to define the init function and as i told this is the basic framework for every model okay this is how you declare models here and if we need any kind of a variable we don't need any so we'll leave it here okay then what we need to do is self dot layer one now this depends now all of these things depends on what kind of a model that you are making okay we are making a logistic regression model so this will be how we will be making it so we'll have n n dot now if you remember we saw a uh, linear layer that is one layer 10 comma 1 so 10 input neurons and one output and then at the end I also showed that we also have a sigmoid layer or sigmoid function rather so we will say n n dot capital S sigmoid okay no parameters to be passed now if you remember we also had a forward function okay so forward function we will be passing self comma x now one thing I forgot you have to write super so super lr or lr comma self and then in it like this okay now coming back so we will be using uh, we will be using these layers whatever we wrote layer 1 or if there were more layer 2 layer 3 and define how they are going to be stacked together okay so obviously the first thing is our layer 1 itself so we'll say output of 0 is equals to self dot layer 1 and then whatever we got as input we will see it is going to be our full data set that I explained in the last video then output 1 is going, going to be whatever will be the output 0 it will be passed that this one is actually y dash okay if you remember y dash and whatever was y dash was passed through a sigmoid function so self dot sig and then out of 0 fine so this was our y the, the total output and then we will return this output so out of 1 so we will run this cell fine now what we need to do is we need to create a model we'll say model and then we'll instantiate this class okay since there were no parameters passed we'll also not pass any parameters and then simply run this cell once we are done now all of the things that we did in the last video is going to be repeated so i'll be going very very fast so you need a loss function now in this case since we are doing uh, binary class classification so the loss we need in this case is binary cross entropy loss so in pytorch you say nn dot bce capital l and small capital l and small oss okay and then again like last time we will be saying an optimizer we will be using an optimizer so torch dot optim dot sgt stochastic gradient descent you can also use atom now the important thing is what parameters so obviously the model the entire model needs to be trained right so we will say model dot parameters now this will come through experience when you will see you don't have to tra train all of the parameters all at once depending on different learning rates and whatever but we are making it very very simple and most of the time you will be ju just using this okay so all the all the parameters of the model and what is going to be the learning rate again 0 0.01 fine and let's run this cell after you run this cell again just like la last video we will say number of epochs number of e epochs we will call it we will say 100 then all losses it will be an empty list and for epoch in range number of epochs so for every epoch what we will be doing we will be saying output equal to model and what will be passing here is the train data set okay so if you remember here train df not pt okay so i get confused sometimes i use df sometimes i use p so df mostly when i use data frame and pt is for pytorch but here since we are having a data frame itself so i could con whatever so model and we will be passing the entire data frame in that okay then loss equal to loss function and what we are passing here we are passing the output 
comma what are the target levels so target underscore df so nn dot bc binary cross entropy loss if you have, if you don't know what this is then i have a video already on this channel explaining what is bce and what is cross entropy and everything so go and look at last we will be whatever the value of uh, loss is we will append it so append loss dot detach now again i'll have to make another video for computational graph uh, there i'll be explaining why detach and other things and since our uh, variables are in pytorch format we need to com compute back into the numpy format so for that we use dot numpy fine and again those three lines that we used in the last video optimizer dot zero grad this is almost similar for all of the programs that i have written till now almost similar you know some of the cases you definitely for example in gans that is a little bit different but uh, or auto encoders a little bit different there but most of the cases you just use this much then loss dot back back loss dot dot back word and the last line is going to be optimizer dot step fine so what we are going to do is we are going to run this let's see what outputs okay so there is an error so okay it says it wants float but i'm not okay oh, yeah. if you remember last time you have to give here float it just makes some problem and one more thing that i forgot to mention if you remember last time i had put here something like a bracket then triple dots comma none that was to increase the dimension here we are not going to increase the dimension what we are going to do is we are going to use output dot squeeze s q u e z e squeeze okay what this will do is it will let, let's say if you have an if you have let's say something like a 2000 comma 1 this one is going to convert it into something like squeeze is going to convert it into 2000 that is or comma it will remove all the one dimensions wherever the dimension is one so let's say if it is 2000 comma 1 comma 1 again this will also become 2000 if there is 1 comma 2000 comma 1 comma 1 then again it will become 2000 so wherever there is one dimension that is unit dimension it will remove that fine so i think it should run now hopefully yeah so it has run so let me plot the final losses so that we can see whether the loss has decreased or not so as you can see the loss has decreased so i think if you continue training uh, it will decrease even further again it will not go to zero it is only 0.3 now there are a lot of problems that can come that i have to make another video for you know sometimes the loss just stagnates what what can be the problem and uh, if you are getting confused or if you are having any kind of a query write it in the comment section if you are having any project then obviously you can go to my fiverr page the link will be in the description and if you are having a project you want to you want to have someone to have a one to one discussion on a project or in the new technology that you want to learn you just want to know something in computer science and want someone who has a bit of experience in this field to help you with that you can go and contact me there it's very very cheap uh, we will do a 20 minute kind of a video interaction one to one and i'll be trying to answer as many questions as possible that you guys have okay so this is it thank you very much and bye bye